Back in July, the carcerate Memphis sent an open letter to the chief demanding 10 things they want to see done before she reached 100 days in her role. Those demands included mandatory crisis intervention training for all MPD officers and deprioritizing citations. Shortly after that letter was sent out, they met with Chief Davis, but it wasn't until I reached out to MPD about it. And now, a year later, they said they haven't heard from her since that meeting, despite the chief publicly claiming she's been working with the group. Meeting with us has not been a priority of hers. Email showed decarcerate Memphis reached out to MPD chief CJ Davis three times since their first meeting almost a year ago. They've been trying to work with the chief to help reform the Memphis Police Department, and they asked her to complete 10 actionable items within her first 100 days. Chelsea Glass, a member of the Carcerate Memphis, says they expected Chief Davis to shake up the status quo in Memphis after she testified about police reform on Capitol Hill following George Floyd's murder. We were cautiously optimistic in the beginning, and um, a year later, we are really just disappointed. Some of the changes they want include holding public monthly meetings with the chief, deprioritizing petty citations for things like a broken tail light or loud music, and ending costs associated with getting body camera footage and records. Glass says all of the organization's demands would ultimately make the city better. Decarcerate Memphis is an organization that understands and takes violence very seriously. This is something that we're not, you know, sidestepping or ignoring. It's, it's part of the process. Incarcerating people in mass is violence. Incarcerating people, um, it, you know, through fines and fees, that is, that is a violent process. Davis has always said decreasing crime is her priority. Over the last year, she has added new units and task force and put on several hiring expos to get more officers on the streets. In city council last month, Davis said her effort is the reason there's been a 4% reduction in overall crime incidents so far this year. Glass says there are other ways to stop crime and adding more patrol units throughout the city isn't the answer. I'm not seeing a true investment in the people of Memphis. So without those investments and without city leaders actually putting money where their mouth is, we are not going to see a change. We reached out to MPD for a statement from Chief Davis on the group's criticism and to see if they have plans to act on Decarcerate's Memphis request. An MPD spokesperson responded saying the group should send an email to the department if they want to meet with her again.